welcome to another video uh, tonight I have for you some um, new 4k uh, blu-rays that I've been picking up recently and I think I've got about 15 in total to show you here uh, uh -oh. Flashing. Sorry about that flashing. I think somebody was just turning the light somewhere. Passing by. I don't, know. I don't know what that was. Anyway, here's the first one I've got here, which is this one, which is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, I haven't even seen the first one of this yet. Or I've only got the first one on Blu ray, just regular Blu ray. But I saw this one at a bargain price, so I decided to um, pick it up. Um, it's obviously it's got the Blu-ray with it, as all of you will know that most 4Ks come with a Blu-ray. Apart from recently, I did um, actually buy one that didn't come with a Blu-ray, and I wasn't too happy about that. In the previous video, I explained a bit more about that. You want to check that video out if you haven't already. So that's Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Next one I have here is a film starring Jennifer Lawrence. And it's this one, which is Red Sparrow. I believe it's some sort of spy thriller which I also have not seen yet um, but I look forward to watching this one I quite like uh, Jennifer Lawrence um, she's made quite a few good films I, I suppose um, she made quite a name for herself with the Hunger Games films uh, I don't know what she was in before that I think she was in a film called um, something Windows Bone or something I think she did that one before the Hunger Games I think she got some good um, like critical reviews for our performance in that film but apart from that I don't know where else she's been in so that's Red Sparrow I got this one on special offer from Amazon brand new so if you want to get a hold of that one it's going for um, $9.99 at the minute on Amazon UK the next one I've got here is uh, this one which is um, Terminator Dark Fate which of course sees the return of Linda Hamilton who hasn't been seen since um, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, of course. Which is, she came back for this one. Uh, the one before this one, obviously, was Terminator Genesis. And I haven't seen Terminator Genesis yet, even though I have it. I've got the 3D version and the regular Blu-ray. And I just ordered the 4K one of that as well. Um, but I haven't seen this one either. I haven't seen Dark Fate. Um, but I've heard it's uh, got mixed reviews. Some people weren't too happy with it. But uh, I think I'll probably be okay with it, I should imagine. I'm uh, quite easily pleased sometimes when it comes to Terminator movies and other movies and what have you. So that's uh, Terminator Dark Fates. I like the cover of this one as well. It's, uh, it's a very nice cover. And the next one I have here is a Disney live action remake. This one is The Lion King. And it doesn't have a slip cover. I don't know if any of these, well, the original pressings probably did come with a slip cover, but mine hasn't got any. Um, but it's a very nice cover. Although I don't really understand, understand why the, uh, the, the cropped off the bottom of the lion, the, the baby lion's uh, face on the, the bottom of the, uh, I mean, it's at the screen, the bottom of the uh, Blu ray here, you see his, his mouth and his nose is chopped off, cropped off, you know? I don't know why they did that. And I haven't watched this one either, and here's the back cover of this one, there's nothing too exciting on there as you can see. I often find for some reason um, the backs of DVDs, the back covers of DVDs and regular Blu-rays often have more interesting back covers than the 4K ones. The 4K ones are always, for the most part, quite bland. They've got a lot of these ultraviolet code things and a lot of text across the back and not, not so many uh, pictures. I like to see um, a lot of um, photographs on the back of um, Blu-rays and stuff, so I'm not always too impressed with the back covers of the uh, 4K ones. And I'm just going to reach over here, um, because I've got the other ones here, some of them anyway. Right, the next one I picked up recently is this one, which is the third Bad Boys film. And this one is this one, this one is this one, that doesn't sound right. It's this one anyway called Bad Boys for Life, and I'm sure you've all seen this film, or you're very familiar with it, even if you haven't watched it yet. And uh, obviously, uh, you know, it stars Martin Lawrence and uh, Will Smith back for the third uh, sequel. 
Uh, haven't seen this one either. I've got all these these very recently. So I haven't had the chance to check them out yet. Um, another, another thing I must mention uh, while I'm here is uh, my uh, 4K Blu-ray player, which is a, a LG. I think it's called a, a BK80 model. It's nothing too spectacular. I've got a sort of issue with it. Um, when I put certain Blu-rays, just regular Blu-rays in it, some of them won't come on. The picture comes on like just big square blocks and the sound's cutting out and everything. It doesn't play properly at all. You know, I don't know what's causing that. It seems to be either some sort of incompatibility problem. And these are like UK discs as well. It's a UK machine. And they're just, um, they're just not um, playing. So I don't know if it's something to do with, this is on my projector. You know, when you press the source button on the projector and it goes to the like um, input. Maybe it's not tuning in properly on some of these. I'm not sure if it's that or it's something to do with the actual 4K Blu-ray player itself, you know. If anyone out there knows what could be causing that problem, I'd be very interested to hear from you. If you could please get in touch with us, if you know. Anyway, back to the 4Ks. The next one I've got here, I showed this already in my last video, but this is the one I picked up that didn't have the Blu-ray version in. And this is uh, Avengers Infinity War. It's very disappointed because it doesn't actually include a Blu-ray version of the film. And I didn't know that before I bought it. I thought it would have just the, the regular two uh, discs in there, the Blu-ray and the 4K Blu-ray. But it only had the 4K, so I wasn't very happy about that. And here's the back cover, nothing too exciting. Like I say, on one of these 4Ks on the back cover, not too exciting. This next one, I think pretty much everyone hates it. There's an odd two or three people here and there that kind of like it. But I, th I think it's okay. It's obviously not as good as the original version, but it's this one, which is the remake. The new version of Ghostbusters, which had a, obviously has an all-female cast, headed by uh, Kristen Wiig and uh, Melissa McCarthy, of course. Now, I've got, actually got this film three times over. I've got the regular Blu-ray release, um, and I've also got, obviously, this one, which is the 4K and the Blu-ray, and the bonus disc, I think. And I've also got another 4K of it. It's only got the 4K disc in. I know, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking I'm crazy. But I just bought um, this one recently because it was only like just about three quid, and it had the, the Blu-ray, the 4K, and the bonus disc all in one box. So I thought, oh, that's a bargain for all three discs in one box. So I decided to get that. But like I see, I've already got like a, um, one with just the 4K disc in. It hasn't got a slip cover. And it's in like a slimline case. I quite like that version as well. I, I like I like to have multiple copies of certain films. I, I, I'm not really fussed. I'm, you know, I'm not one of these people that gets rid of one and buy another version. Or I like to keep all two or three of them, or whatever. How many ever there is of them. So anyway, that school Ghostbusters in the back cover of this one is absolutely terrible. This is exactly what I was talking about. It's like just nothing but text and ultraviolet codes all over the back. Oh, I just hate them covers. And the next one I've got here is the last one for the minute. Well, for this second until I move on to the next batch. And it's this one. I've already showed this in a previous video as well. It's called uh, AD Astra or Ad Astra. I'm not sure which way you say that. Uh, I presume some of you out there will know the correct way of pronouncing this title. I've heard people say Ad Astra and I've heard people say AD Astra. I don't think it's Ad Astra, it might be, just the A is very spaced out from the D. So it doesn't sound like you're supposed to say them both together like a word. I may be wrong though. And obviously this one stars Brad Pitt, and it's set in space, at least some of it is. And I've never seen it, but it's, I know it's shot on film. And um, uh, some people on YouTube here, like uh, Spare Change, said it's not exactly in shop, but it's still a good transfer. Um, it's got a slightly soft um, um, soft edge to it or something. But it's still a, a decent transfer and better than the Blu-ray version, apparently. So it's just not as razor sharp as some of the digitally shot movies that it's out uh, at, at the present time and what have you. So that's AD Astra. Right, the next one I have here for you is uh, a film I've already got on regular Blu-ray. But I'll say to pick this Decided to pick this up again because it was uh, at a bargain price. 
And it's this one, which is uh, Baywatch, of course, the uh, movie version starring Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron, of course. Um, I have seen this film, but just not on 4K yet. And it is, um, it was very good transfer on the Blu-ray. So it was very bright and colorful and everything. Very sharp image, shot digitally. And um, the film was pretty good as well. Perhaps not quite as good as the TV series, but it was still pretty good nevertheless. And there was lots of uh, attractive uh, female cast members in there. Most of which I've never heard of before. I know there's someone called Alexandra Daddario or something I think she's called. I've never heard of her anywhere else before. So I don't know where else she's been in. Although I think she was in a um, horror film recently. Uh, but I forgot the title of it. Something, something or other. Something with a something in the title or something. Something like that anyway. Anyway, he has the uh, back cover. And once again, it's not the best back cover. Like I say, these four k's are a bit iffy on the back covers. We need to improve the back covers. So that's that one. Next one I've got here. I also got it at a knockdown bargain price. And uh, I would like to know if any of you have this film. Have you had any technical problems with it? And it's this one. It's called The Hitman's Bodyguard. And it stars Samuel L. Jackson. And Ryan Reynolds. It's an action thriller. And the cover looks like it's been uh, influenced by, um, I think, is it um, The Enforcer or Magnum Force? I forget. One of the Clint Eastwood Dirty Harry films, here, The Enforcer or Magnum Force, where he's got the, where they use a wide angle lens, like an extreme wide angle lens, and he's pointing the gun right at the end of the camera lens, so it looks massive and they look smaller, going off into the background. I think they've ripped off that, I'll try to pay homage to it. Anyway, has anyone got this film on UK Blu-ray? Uh, 4K rather? And uh, if you have, have you had any technical problems with it, like the, the film freezing up halfway through or something? Because so I read a, a, a review or a comment on eBay, I think it was. Somebody said they didn't get to watch the whole film because it froze in the middle of the film or something. So I'm just wondering, are all the copies like this, because I haven't watched this yet, or was it just an odd one? Or maybe you just had an odd faulty disc or scratch disc or something, I don't know. Um, so, anyone had any technical problems with this film, freezing up or anything similar, anything at all? Let us know if you have. Uh, the back cover on this one is slightly better, it's got some bigger pictures on there than some of the other ones, that's for sure. Right, the next one I've got here was the most expensive one, I think it's the most expensive one here. And it was this one, which is called Mortal Engines. I don't really know much about this uh, movie, apart from... There's a girl wearing a mask on the front, which reminds me of something actually, where is it again? Oh yeah, it was the last time I went to Asda shopping, that's it. Um, yep, so I don't really know much about this uh, movie. Um, but it's supposed to have one of the best, if not the best, 4K transfer to date. According to Spare, the Spare Change, I think said that. He said it was either the best or one of the best so far. Um, very good, like razor sharp, crystal clear image on the transfer, you know. And it's in 239 to 1 aspect ratio as well. Pretty well, the back cover once again, it's mostly text, unfortunately. Like, did I, did I, did I tell you already I hate these back covers? <laughs> like, I, I like lots of, like, pictures and artwork on the back. I don't like loads of text and banners for ultraviolet codes and everything, you know what I mean? But anyway, and there's another thing I hate about DVDs, Blu-rays and 4Ks is the fact that most of the time, the actual running time of the film, the length of the film, you cannot find it on the back because it's printed so goddamn small, you have to get like a, a magnifying glass out to read the bloody thing. And I think they need to start printing the running time bigger and so it's easier to find. And the worst company for this, I would say, is Universal, because they printed the smallest of out of all the film companies on the back of their films. It's like tiny, like really mixed in with all the other text along the bottom. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's Mortal Engines. The okay, next one I've got here is another film I haven't seen yet, and it's this one. It's the uh, Invisible Man, and um, I don't know if you've noticed anything about this cover. I've, I've mentioned this in some of my videos in the past, but lots of Hollywood movies have covers like this. 
where there's just one side of someone's face with one eye shown. And they did this on the recent uh, Whitney Houston film as well. And they did it on the 4K version of Lucy, which I've got here. I'll show you actually. All right. So there you go. There you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Same thing. Now, does anyone know why they do this? Why do they do this with what's one eye thing with one half of someone's face shown with just one eye on display? Anyone know? Anyway, that's Lucy, which I've also got on regular Blu-ray. I mean, separate from this one because you get the Blu-ray in here, obviously, as well. But I've also got the regular Blu-ray, which has got a slightly different cover. Uh, and the main difference is she actually has two eyes on the front of the Blu-ray cover, but just one eye on the 4K for some reason. Anyway, that's Lucy. And um, the back cover, which is once again just one picture. One picture of Scarlett Johansson there. <clears throat> By the way, jo Scarlett Johansson's done quite a few films, hasn't she? She's not very old. I remember the first, one of the first ones I've seen her in was um, was um, a film called, um, what was it again? Oh, Sugar. I forgot the title of it. Uh, it was similar to The Breakfast Club. And, and, and I'll just describe it. You'll probably know the film I mean. I've got, uh, I've got it on DVD. Perfect score, that's it. It's like some teenagers in de detention in the school at midnight. And they decide to sort of break into the... Do sort of rob some sort of robbery break in stroke mess with the computers or something go somewhere where they're not supposed to go where they're on detention or something like that i can't remember if they're actually on detention or they just break into the, the school at night but it was similar <clears throat> excuse me it was similar to the breakfast club in a, way, in a lot of ways it's a good film though that was one of our early ones right what have i got next here i've got kind of mixed up now um right the next one i've got here is this one which is was on the TV over here in the UK just just a few days ago, and it's this one called Bumblebee, which is sort of a spin-off from the Transformers movie series, and I haven't seen this one. In fact, to be honest, I've only seen two Transformers movies so far, and that was the first one, and the second one. Uh, that's the only ones I've seen. I haven't so I haven't seen this, but I know it stars Haley Steinfeld <clears throat> or Stein, Steinfeld. I think it's Steinfeld or Seinfeld. Some later anyway, I don't really know much about her, uh, I know she's in a few films here and there, but I couldn't um, tell you what they are offhand. Uh, I know she made one for Netflix not long ago, I think it was made for Netflix, it starred Woody, Woody Harrelson as well, I forget what that was called. And here's the back of this one, um, once again, uh, it's, it's not too bad, for a as far as 4K is going in terms of back covers. So that's uh, Bumblebee. And um, the last one I've got to show here for the minutes is this one, which is um, Alida Battle Angel. And as you all probably know, <clears throat> this is one of the, the rare occasions where you get the 4K version of the movie and you get the Blu-ray 3D version and the regular Blu-ray all in one case. <clears throat> When this first came out, it was priced at uh, £25, at least it was in Asda, where I usually go for my shopping. And um, But now it's been reduced down to um, £11.99, brand new, on some places online. Uh, I think it was Zoom where I got this one from, £11.99, so that's not bad. Brand new, £11.99, so if you want a copy of this and you haven't got it yet, I would, I would get a copy now before the price goes back up. You never know with these things, some days they Price just shoots right back up through the roof. So um, sometimes it goes the other way; they get cheaper, but often, more often than not, they get cheaper for a bit, and then the price like jumps back up again. I don't know if it's because the films are like close to going out of print or something on 4K. I'm not even sure why that happens, but that's what sometimes happens because it happened with their uh, Blade Runner 2049. That one went up to like, well, it was going for like 6.99, 7.99 on eBay. And then it shot up a few months later to like around 15, 20 and up. So that's what I'm on about, you know, that sort of thing. And this film, by the way, I haven't seen it, but I think the, the, the correct me if I'm wrong, the girl is completely CGI, is she? And she's got like the mid eyes, like abnormally big. Like uh, no, nobody in real life, I don't think, has eyes that big. 
Um, so, does anyone know out there? Is, is she completely computer graphics? Is she completely uh, CGI, you know? She, she's not real, right? There's no real actress playing her. They might have used an actress to model her on, I guess, but I'm thinking she might be totally computerized in here. Does anyone know? Anyway, I just wondered about that. And the back cover of this one is nothing, nothing to write home about, as is usually, usually the case, unfortunately. So, there you have it. Uh, if you've seen any films here that I've shown you that you actually have seen, um, let us know what you thought of them, if you don't mind, uh, if you've got time. And let us know what you thought of the transfers as well, if you want. Or anything else you've got to say, just let us know in the comments and I'll, we'll get back to you. So anyway, that's pr pretty much all from me for tonight. And I shall uh, catch you all next time, all five and a half of years, on the next video. So until then, it is goodbye from me. So bye for now. Ta-ra!